Hello everyone. Imagine you accidentally touch something very hot or you are in a way of a car. In such situations, you have very little time to avoid a serious damage or an accident, right? Yet, most of the people would respond fast enough. So, how can our nervous system act so fast? Let us understand. The nerve cells are longest cell in our body which literally looks like a string. Each nerve cell has a cell body or soma with a nucleus. A nerve cell has many organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, ribosome, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, etc. Now, the nerves need to acquire information from the environment and this is done by dendrites. Dendrites are short branched extension of a nerve cell along which impulses are received. These receptors are usually located in our sense organs such as the inner ear, the nose, the tongue and so on. Now, the nerves carry signal in form of electrical signal. The long thread like extension which is also called axon carries the impulse. The specialized domain of soma from where the axon is originated is called axon hillock. Now the axon is surrounded by a specialized insulator sheet called myelin sheet. But this sheet is interrupted at a regular interval and these are called nodes of Renvier. The myelin sheet consists of fatty materials but many axons don't have this sheet. Now the impulse carried by axon needs to be transferred to the dendrite of the next nerve. Right? This junction between axon of one nerve and the dendrite of the next one is called synapse. But there is a minute gap in between. At the end of the axon, the electrical impulse sets off the release of some chemicals. These chemicals cross the gap or synapse and start a similar electrical impulse in a dendrite of the next neuron. You know, these chemicals are neurotransmitters. Now, the motor nerves, also called efferent neurons, carry response from the central nervous system to the muscles or glands. Again, similar synapse finally allows delivery of such impulses from neurons to the muscle cells or glands through the neurotransmitters. So this is how nerve cells carry information. So to sum up what we learned today, a nerve cell is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. And what is synapse? A junction between two nerve cells consisting of a minute gap across which impulses pass by diffusion of a transmitter is called a synapse. In the next lesson, we will understand what is a reflex action. Until then, bye-bye.